Friends, freaks, free thinkers. We're back in the bath lab. Uh, sometimes in life, you gotta roll with the changes. Um, so there's there was a slight change of plan here. Um, at the end of the last video, we were just getting ready to uh, to manski our condensed soup, right? And that was a great plan, but um, it turns out <clears throat> I needed some freebase for my eBay inventory for uh, Emerald Sun Organics, which is my eBay store. And um, so instead of doing a Mansky on the soup, I, uh, I based it with sodium carbonate. And um, as we've gone over before, uh, when you make your sodium carbonate solution to base your soup and precipitate the free base, you want to add sodium. You want to add sodium carbonate until it won't dissolve anymore. And once you you've got it, so you stir and stir and stir and stir and stir, and there's still a little beat in the bottom. Then you got to saturate the solution and you're good to go. And also, as we talked about before, uh, all sodium carbonate is, is bicarbonate of soda that's been baked in the oven and, uh, and all the water driven off and that drives off one of the carbon molecules. Uh, so instead of bicarbonate, it's carbonate. That's all there is to it. It's that simple. Um, I do like like two hours in a toaster oven at fucking 450 or whatever and that's usually just fine to make my sodium carbonate and um, and when you add the sodium carbonate solution to your condensed and hopefully filtered soup uh, you're not you're not dumping a shit ton of the stuff in. You're adding a little bit at a time until the color change stops, and that's all you got to do. And since we followed Mansky's um, volumes and proportions uh, on the boils, this was the easiest. Not the easiest. This freebase precipitation took less basic solution than any other uh, freebase precipitation I've done. This ship was dying to crystallize and fall out of solution. And I got, I got like, like half a metric shit ton. There's like a quarter metric shit ton, and there's uh, another quarter metric shit ton. Uh, and again, this is out of uh, 500 grams of seeds, so call it a pound of seeds. Now, what I'd like to do is set half of this aside for my uh, for my use, so I can so I can do the. Uh, the wash, settle, and decant routine a couple of times and get it nice and pretty and white, um, always at the cost of some product. Every time you wash your freebase, you're going to lose some product. So keep that in mind. There's a, there's a tipping point where you... Uh, it, it's uh, it's kind of what they call diminishing returns. You know, you're only going to get it so pretty before it's fucking gone. And um, and I've done that before, and that's really it's anyway. That's for a different uh, a different set of uh, winings. So anyway, um, again, I've got a little bit of a script here, and uh, at the top of the script. It says, unstable, you probably can't read that. Um, that might help some. It says, unstable SD card. Um, 
I've been fighting with my GoPro and uh, I thought it was terminal for a minute, but yeah, it's going to be okay. Uh, so a slight change of pant plan. I needed some freebase for my eBay inventory. So um, yeah, and doing this, doing this freebasing before the Mansky step uh, gives an added benefit of sort of pre-cleaning the alkaloids um, and I, I'm really not sure about the science involved here but it's been my experience and I've read uh, anecdotes online and uh, if you're interested in researching this shit DMT Nexus is the place to go but their search engine sucks dick so just go to your preferred search engine and search for whatever you're searching for and add DMT Nexus to the end of it and then uh, at the top of the search results results should be uh, a link to what you're looking for in DMT Nexus and like I said the DMT Nexus search engine is fucking dick hold so anyway so uh, yeah, show freebase, set half aside for wash and decant and acidify the rest. So that's the plan with this stuff, but before I do anything to this to this freebase, I'm going to let it go ahead and dry completely because I want I want a yield. I want a percentage yield at this point at the first precipitation and even if I had manskied first I'd still want to do that I'd still want to uh, even if I planned on manskying three or four more times which is something you can do without really losing product um, but even if I wanted to do that uh, it fuck I lost my train of thought see I went off script anyway I guess I did. Fuck. Brain fog. Brain fog, gents. Anyway, so yeah, no. Even, even if it was, even if it was the hydrochloride, I'd still want to know what the initial precipitation yielded, so I can compare it to my final precipitation or final Mansky, and that's just a, a good practice to get into. So it's it's going to be next video when I. Uh, when I do the cleanup of the freebase and the reacidification and manski of the other half of the freebase, so we're kind of from the get-go here. We're we're kind of splitting the uh, the extraction into two different uh, kind of genres. And like I said, man, you got you got to roll with the changes. Um, there are some basic principles uh, to extraction that I follow and um, I'm learning that <clears throat> that Mansky's uh, proportions and volumes are critical <clears throat> to success but there's a lot of a lot of leeway to do shit as it fits your lifestyle because lifestyle is important clears is that cool can you see that clears mm, is it gonna stay lit <laughs> we have ways of making you stoned. All right. So we talked about the concentrations, talked about the sodium carbonate solution. Um Well, that's that's really about it. I think I've covered all my uh all my points here change plan um, uh, 
basing before the Mansky has the added benefit of pre-cleaning. Um, I'm pretty sure <coughs> that this is removing non-alkaloid non -alkaloid compounds from the precipitate. Um, but that's not that's not a chemist talking. That's a, a that's a bath lab technician talking. So I uh, um, told you I was setting aside half, and I told you why. Uh, we talked about the concentrations being so right that the the freebase just like jumped out of solution, and um, <coughs> and so the the thing is though. Um, Mansky doesn't even talk about freebasing in the uh, in the original paper, the original uh, the original publication of this process. He, he doesn't even touch on freebasing that I know of. Um, but he does talk about a second Mansky, right? And um, and that's interesting because there's never any indication of of how many milliliters of water you should use per gram of hydrochloride that that you're uh, you know after you manske it the first time you got your batch of crystals you splash them with some more vinegar and add water until you have the proper uh, the proper concentration of solution to hit it with your saline solution and get it to effectively crystallize out again. And I've really never seen a reference to what that proportion is. So, fuck, we've been following Mansky's lead up to now except for the freebase step. But, you know, once I, once I, um, once I take, I think I'm going to take this one and, um, and reacidify it and mansky it, but once I hit that with a splash of vinegar and get it to go back into solution again, I have no idea what kind of volume of water I should use. Um, so I don't know. I guess minimal. I'll go with minimal, uh, and I'm not sure what minimal is yet. But you'll find out when I find out, and. Um, Damn. This is like a like a swisher spleef. Anyway, that's about it for this one. We'll see you next time.